everyone and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Road Show with a brand new episode. This is uh, episode 3 of season 5 of the Liverpool Carrier Road Show. And many of you guys said that maybe I should bring in the next Virgil van Dijk and the next Jorginho Wijnaldum. So I shortlisted Frankie De Jong who is now 28 years old, 92 rated, absolutely incredible player. But I think we already signed a... Uh, uh, Ed Guy, the youth academy player, and we also have many, many talented attacking midfielders in our squad. But once Firmino, Mane and Salah really go down in their rating, and also Virgil van Dijk is on the, on the verge of going down, he's only 87 rated now, he was 90 rated at the start of this career mode. So Matisse Delict could be his replacement, but he's playing for our direct title rival Manchester City, so I'm not sure how realistic this transfer is, but I think I will sign these players next summer or maybe even in the January transfer window if we need major reinforcements let's see how this squad scopes with the hectic schedule and guys thank you so much for your awesome support on the previous episode make sure to uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoy the series and also comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen this time let's start with Mo Salah up front alongside Jota and Chiesa and Luis Diaz also plays because this is our probably our best team right now let's go after months of speculation the deal is finally done and we're just minutes away from seeing his debut can he live up to the hype welcome to st james's park newcastle liverpool always a big game but especially now that newcastle as you can see as you can see have a really really awesome team Jota. luis diaz oh. Thanks, Derek. And Renato Sanchez, please! Oh my god, that's what's the goal! <laughs> that is another absolutely incredible strike! Renato Sanchez keeps scoring these goal of the season contenders. Just like last season, this season he is on fire. And he scored against Everton, against Man United, and now he scores against Newcastle. And what a strike that is! An absolute rocket! A pile driver into the roof of the net well, you don't really want to be picking up a surely not so Fabinho Fabinho well, gonna... all right come on oh well I'll listen again go on Luis Diaz go on son go on run Jota I mean key is up and can he finish it yes he is right what a start to the game! Oh my goodness, Newcastle had like three chances between our goals, but we are clinical in our finishing, and the Liverpool fans are loving it. And I waited for the perfect moment to pass. Kiesa was just on side, and he has the finishing. This will be a big, big season for Federico Kiesa. Luis Diaz, Renato Sanchez, Jota! Oh no! It is the post and the bar. Diaz. And Sanchez, come on! Oh, it's wide. And Diaz, Luis Diaz! Another shot goes wide. What? Sanchez. And I see Kiesa. Kiesa takes it down, but it's straight at the keeper. Sanchez. And the referee says play on advantage. Oh no. Jota is injured. So that means it's probably a serious injury. No. Oh no way. Alison, what are you doing? Oh you absolute moron. Can't believe it. Honestly, it's the extra time, stoppage time at the end of the first half and I got distracted by Diogo Jota's injury. Alisson should save that, I'm sorry, you are a 92 rated goalkeeper. Gerson? Oh, come on, Alisson, big save. Oh my goodness, Alisson is an absolute moron! Oh my goodness, how can you parry the shot into your own net? And Dumfries, the right back, scores two goals against us. But look at Alisson. What on earth is that? He parries the shot onto Robertson's head. Are you kidding me? Like, what have, have you done, Alisson? An absolute moronic. And it's a Robertson own goal. Poor guy didn't know anything about that. Yes, Chiesa. Beautiful. 
Jota. Please, Dio go Jota surely. Yes, Jota, it's three two. I just had the feeling, even though Jota is injured, that I will keep him on because he is our best finisher. And also there is an international break after this game, so Jota can probably recover. That's a fantastic pass by Chiesa. Great first start, beautiful finish. Oh no. Bentancur, Guri. Come on to him! Oh, Alisson, big save. Go on, man. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA. And Kiza, wide open! Oh, Kiza won the goal! Oh my goodness, I waited and waited and waited with Sonny Wani just to see when I can find Kiza onside. And there was one Newcastle defender who was further back than everybody else. Look at this, he plays Kiza onside, and that is a wonderful finish. Uh oh. Oh no, Konate, he just came on as a substitute. Dalo. Surely not! Ivan Tony almost scored. Ivan Tony. Konate, get there! Ooh, Alisson. Money. Go on, Sadio! Great save. Sometimes goalkeepers just have a shocking performances and this was one of them but thankfully our attack bailed us out once again and I think we deserved it even though Newcastle had 5.5 expected goals I'm not sure if that's accurate but we had more shots and we scored 4 from only 6 shots on target oh wow Newcastle had 10 shots on target Chiesa was the man of the match he got an assist and 2 goals he was brilliant and the Renato Sanchez goal was just spectacular and it was very important to win because now we keep pace with Man City who are back to their best it looks like they have a plus nine goal difference from three games absolutely staggering but Norwich City got a big win against West Ham away from home and Chelsea couldn't win against Wolves that is brilliant Jota will miss only four weeks with a sprained knee injury but two of them weeks are international breaks the biggest news of the transfer window is that the Manchester City signed Barcelona player Pedri and also Rodrigo Real Madrid player signed from Inter on transfer deadline day because Inter signed Bukayo Saka to replace Rodrigo so Man City absolutely smashed the transfer window as you can see spending a whopping 433 million so it will be a big challenge to overcome this uh, superpower man city but also man united getting holland and Pereira and Romero, that's a smashing transfer window. They net spend 320 million. To be honest, we net spend around 213 million. So that is also a pretty, pretty decent uh, figure. As you can see, we signed three big players as well. Newcastle also signed quite a lot of players. They signed Dumfries one day before he made his debut against us, scoring two goals. And oh wow, Norwich also got pretty strong. So Norwich has a good chance of staying up, actually just like uh, Sheffield United who again strengthened Tottenham also signed and sold a lot of players uh, but I think overall they got a little bit weaker selling and Dombele and Romero and Alaba as well and Wolves also got stronger they got signed Jovic and Dombele De Vrij, De Vrij so Wolves will be pushing for a top four place Arsenal I think uh, broke even almost uh, in the transfer window and Aston Villa also got stronger signing Pellegrini and Cassier two big players players from the Serie A and Brighton also got stronger they signed Gonzalez the former Stuttgart and Fiorentina striker Zagadu also from Dortmund and Chelsea also signed Lautaro Martinez and Hernandez two very very big players and there was a lot of movement at Crystal Palace but Adeyemi is a brilliant signing for them Everton only made one transfer I think they needed to spend more and Leeds United got a lot weaker. They sold a lot of players. Finally, Rafinha left Leeds United. I've been saying that Rafinha should have left Leeds United a long time ago. Career mode. Leicester City also got a little bit weaker. So there has been some incredible transfer deals. And most of them players went into the Premier League. As you can see, the top four transfers are Premier League transfers. Rodrigo also going to Man City is incredible. Marquinhos going to Real Madrid. But Arsenal, Tottenham also signed big, big players, big signings. Manchester United also signing Romero. Paul Torres also went to Barcelona, back to Spain. So as you can see, 
there has been a lot of big big transfers into the Premier League and our first friendly with the Netherlands ended in a 3-0 win Boadu, Brobby and Dumfries once again scoring is brilliant and our second friendly with the Netherlands is against Argentina because it's a friendly I'm not going to play it let's see it's a nail near draw so that's a little bit disappointing Leicester are in fifth place just one point behind us so this is a big game and you can see why Leicester City are very close to the top they have an amazing team all around and I think last season they beat us Luis Diaz will play up front in the absence of Diogo Jota so Mane and Salah can both start cameras trained on one man he's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games welcome to Anfield the Alisson Tifo is out to support Alisson after his horrendous performance in the previous game uh, let's hope that he turns up this time in a much better form Attractive brand of football. Oh what no, too bad there. Line Go out to him, that's too easy. What happened? Why did it skip over? What? That's so weird. Again, Alisson punches it into his own net, but we can't even see the ball ending up in the back of the net. That's a glitch or something. The goalkeeper is glitched in this episode, I'm convinced. Do they mean business on this Renato Sanchez, please! Oh, it's a little bit Just over the bar. Renato Sanchez. Mane. Kiza. Kiza! How? Oh my goodness, how did that not go in? Yes, Van Dijk. Luis Diaz. Iken Kiza is in. And Diaz! Not pen no penalty? Luis Diaz, no, no, Tillemans. And Rafa, who from behind takes him out. And Renato Sanchez, and we hit the bar again. Oh my days, we hit the bar twice in the first half. Ferrati, come on. Yes, Fabinho and Renato Sanchez to Salah. Go on, Salah. Can they keep it going? Luis Diaz, two keys are shooting, bang, let's go, we are up and running, a fantastic counter attack, and let's not let Leicester beat us again, absolute textbook attack, and he is a finish, oh my goodness, look at the goalkeeper, how late he's diving, the goalkeeper, I <laughs> watched him, <laughs> what are you doing mate? Cheers Alex, losing position, go on, Luis Diaz, Two keys are shooting! Oh, what a save! To Renato Sanchez, this is a... Oh my goodness! Renato Sanchez, honestly, he gets tackled three times already. And he suck! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Gakpo is just stronger. And Tillemans, unbelievable. Gakpo out sprints Robertson. And I was always on the back foot. And this Leicester team is truly special. Because they have world class players in pretty much every single position. It just shows what an incredible team that they have built. Go to Verratti. No, oh, mate. Tillemans, I mean, uh, is a. Ferrati to Isaac, 3-1 Leicester, it's game over again, I just cannot stop their attack, just like last season, they are smashing us, absolutely incredible how good this Leicester team are, and every time I go to the halfway line at least, they are so aggressive in their counter pressing, I always lose the ball, and then I have so many gaps. Tillemans. Oh wow, it's for Gakpo, hey, we absolutely got schooled, we got taught a footballing lesson, you can't be this bad defensively and expect to get away with it it's against a team like Leicester and that is a humbling defeat, our first defeat of the season and honestly how did that go past Trent and past Alisson? Money. go on, Sadio, Money into the top corner but saved. And Doku, Mane, please, 
Money, that saved as well. This was a thumping, an embarrassing defeat. Look at Anfield, half of the stadium has already gone home. And that is a big criticism to our team, our side. And the way we performed against Leicester was just simply not good enough for a two-time champion. And I mean, we had the chances. We actually had more shots than Leicester, but that was, most of those were in the first half. And Leicester had seven shots on target and they scored four of them. Alisson is just not performing and maybe this defense with Van Dijk aging is, is really really a problem maybe I need to sign the lift in the January transfer in the one we slip down to fifth place Wolves have overtaken us and a lot of other teams like Leicester as well Leicester are now in second place Chelsea smashed Arsenal 4-1 so they overtake us as well at least Tottenham didn't win but Man City won Man United lost to Newcastle now that is a, the perfect result for us and Brentford managed to get a big win against Brighton. Newly promoted West Brom beating Bristol City and they, they are in a very good position at the moment and Norwich are also out of the relegation zone. So at the moment Bristol and Brighton with no points and Chiesa has five goals in four games but we just need to improve defensively because otherwise Man City will run away with the title. Ossiman and Foden their two best players are amazing, but Diaz, Jota and Chiesa are top of the assist charts. That's quite amazing early on. And we still haven't kept a clean sheet this season. That is really worrying. And thankfully Renato Sanchez is only out for five days. We start off our Champions League campaign with a big, big match against AC Milan. We also have Dortmund in our group. Luis Diaz, Chiesa and Salah starts up front. And Ed Guy, this is a big game for him. He gets his first start of the the season. This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? It's Liverpool, they take on Milan. And we are the two-time Champions League holders. We have won the past two Champions Leagues. We have won three Champions Leagues in four seasons. So we are the kings of Europe. Chiesa. Luis Diaz. Oh my goodness, that's a red card again. He is up. And, and, money! No. Richard Alisson. Alisson is yours. And I see Diaz in the middle. Come on, Salah. Mo Salah. Beautiful! Salah! No! Uh, Fabinho. Luis Diaz. Keys are too money! Oh, it's blocked, I can't believe it! No, no way. No, no, I can't, I can't get there! And Robo. Fabinho, Robertson. And I see. Keys are too Sadio Mane! Oh, that was such a simple attack! But beauty is in simplicity sometimes. And Magnum is like, what just happened? Two passes, one to Kiesa, and then he chips a ball to Mane, who volleys it first time into the top corner. That is honestly a beautiful goal. Mane still got it. This might be his last season when he's worth class. Mane is wide open. And Salah, please, Mo Salah! He hits the post! Oh no. Offside, surely. Alisson, big save. Firmino. And Salah, great first touch! And then he shoots over the bar! What? How did Salah miss that? Wait, it wasn't over the bar. He missed it outright. He just he shot wide. Now go out to him. Ooh, okay. It's Carlos Soler. Uh oh. Now this is a problem. Tao Hernandez. Alisson. Wow. Naveda. And Diaz has it. Luis Diaz, go on! And, and Kiesa! He hits the post, are you kidding me? Yes, guys! We start off the Champions League campaign with a victory. It, it should have been more. We hit the post twice with Salah and Kiesa. So unlucky not to score more goals. 
And I think we deserved it. We had more possession, more shots, more expected goals, nine shots to five, but only two shots on target. And Sadio Mane was the man of the match, but Salah should have scored, Chiesa should have scored as well. I mean, Salah alone had 1.6 expected goals. And Dortmund couldn't beat Legia Warsaw. That's fantastic. That's the perfect result for us. If we beat Legia, then we start the, the campaign with six points. But then we played Dortmund home and away. And last season we lost to Dortmund 4-1 at Anfield. We got them in the group stage last season as well. Let's check out the other groups. Man United started up with a win against Atletico Madrid. That is a big result for them. And Real Sociedad caused a major upset winning against Bayern Munich. So Atalanta and Real Sociedad at the moment are in pole position. Bayern have a lot of work to do. And Leicester City's amazing season continues. After winning at Anfield 4-1, they went to the no Camp and beat Barcelona as well. So this was the perfect week for Leicester City. Wow, two big, big results away from home. And I expect Leicester to get through in this group stage. Inter also beat Real Madrid, so there have been some big, big results for away teams in the Champions League. And also Juventus couldn't beat Monaco, but they, I expect them to go through. And PSG won 3-0 against Leipzig. They should go through without any problems. Chelsea lost to Leverkusen, so Chelsea have work to do, but they will probably go through. Frederico Chiesa, last season he had 19 goals all season. Already this season he has seven goals in seven games and he could have been scoring even more goals because he hit the post against the Milan. What a start to the season from Chiesa and Mane is off the mark. I expect Salah to score more goals. And the next episode will be a cracking one. We will play Derby County in the League Cup, uh, Brentford and Wolves in the Premier League and Liga also in the Champions League. So we should get four wins from four in this one. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. See you later. Bye.